your skin, Pink Bandage. Hello, Perfect Beauties. My name is Daisy. I am the CEO and founder of Banish. And today I'm going to be telling you guys 10 tips on microneedling derma rolling using the banisher that you need to know. The first question is, what is a microneedling device or a banisher? It is a handheld device like this. And on ours, we have 540 little titanium bristles. And this is really based on this really old ancient acupuncture therapy. They kind of took that broad scale of acupuncture and kind of whittled it down to microneedling. And microneedling is based on collagen induction therapy. So basically what these tiny little bristles do is it kind of punctures the skin. It will help build collagen inside the skin which is why it's called collagen induction therapy. And when your skin produces a scar, that means there was a displacement of collagen in your skin. And when you do something like collagen induction therapy with the banisher, it'll help promote that collagen back to normal. Number two is how does the banisher work? What you do is you're gonna roll it along your skin and these little bristles will go into your skin producing a tiny microscopic hole. Now the width of these needles are 0.25 millimeters, which is super, super tiny. So the holes cannot be seen with the naked eye. This is perfect because it won't leave a scar. The little holes that were made by the bristles produce a micro wound that is very, very tiny. You can barely see it. And what that does is it signals to your skin that, hey, there's a little open wound here, which stimulates collagen production in your skin cell. So collagen and elastin fibers are the building block of skin. And inside that little hole, there's just a bunch of collagen and elastin fibers that will be building up in response to the wound that was formed from the banisher. So we're really tricking our body by using our own body's natural healing process to get rid of acne scars. So this brings up to our top three questions of people asking, you know, what does the banisher treat? The great thing about this, it's really a multi-use, multi-purpose product. It helps with pore reduction. It helps with obviously acne scars. It helps with age spots. It helps with wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, and also helps with hair regrowth. And there are people who will use the banisher and they will kind of put it along their scalp and then put their regrowth treatment in there because the little tiny micro holes that are caused by the banisher is perfect for any kind of product to absorb, whether it's in the scalp or on the face. I also really like to use the banisher before I use my banish oil because it will help penetrate it into the skin more deeply, furthering the build of collagen and elastin. How do you use the banisher? First, you're gonna sanitize by putting an alcohol in here. You can get any isopropyl alcohol you can get at your drugstore. Just fill it up here and then you're gonna just put the banisher in here, let it soak for a few minutes and take it out. And make sure the alcohol is not on the um, banisher anymore and tap it to dry and then just roll it along your skin. Again, I highly suggest rolling it in one direction, lifting it up and rolling it again, lifting it up and rolling it again. I don't suggest like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth all the time because that can really increase the probability of getting tram track scarring or just any other type of scarring, which you don't want because we're trying to prevent scarring by using the banisher. And then, of course, applying your favorite serum. I highly suggest the Banish Oil. Whatever product you use after, in terms of using it after the banisher, you have to make sure it's 100% natural. You don't want any preservatives or any fragrances or any artificial colors or ingredients going into your skin because it's gonna really irritate your skin and clog its pores even more. So you wanna make sure you're using all natural ingredients and Banish is made with all natural ingredients, so it's really, really great to use. Basically, what the Banish Oil has has is it has pure l acid which will sink into the holes of the skin therefore promoting collagen growth into the little microscopic channels and then it will kind of plump the skin and how I describe it after I use the banisher is I feel like my scars have been ironed out a little bit like with an iron which is always good that means the skin is a little smoother how often should I use the banisher we recommend using it every other week so that way your skin has plenty of time 
to heal and to rest and relax. I mean, if you're going to use the banisher every day, for example, that is way too much for the skin. It might irritate the skin. So we just want to make sure the skin goes through its natural shedding and growth cycles before using it again. However, I highly suggest using the banish oil every night in the troubled areas. So for me, I tend to get scarring um, still along my temples and along my cheeks, so I apply the Banish Oil there every night. What is the downtime after using the Banisher? We highly recommend if you're going to be using the Banisher to not to wear any makeup and to stay out of the sun for that day or for at least 24 hours. And always, 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 always remember to use sunscreen especially after using the banisher. We highly recommend not going out in the sun after using the banisher, but if you need to, remember to put sunscreen because your skin is very, very sensitive after using it and you don't want to be exposing it to damaging UV rays because that can cause even more pigmentation in your scarring. So stay out of the sun. If you are going to be in the sun maybe a day or two after using the banisher, remember to wear and remember to only use natural products and natural ingredients on your skin directly after using the banisher. I usually you do like mini banisher treatments at night and then in the morning I'm good to go. I wear a gentle natural sunscreen on um, the next day, but I really highly avoid using any makeup for the first day after using the banisher. Just because you want your skin to repair itself, you want collagen to grow and stimulate in your, in your skin and in your body and your cells, and you don't want to be applying anything too thick or too heavy that will prevent the growth of collagen in your skin. Is it painful or will it make me bleed? Honestly, the pain threshold I would say is kind of like a slight sunburn. So a lot of our customers think of it as a sunburn. I don't think or we have very, very few people who actually say the banisher is too painful to use. I really don't think we've ever had a complaint like that. So it's not super painful. You will experience a little irritation and a little bit of like uncomfortableness, but it doesn't hurt. You might experience minor redness and that's perfectly normal because we did puncture tiny, 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 itty bitty thousands of little holes into your skin. So of course your skin might experience a little bit of redness and irritation. So all of our products are at a 0.5 millimeter length. And the reason why we do that is basically the threshold you need to do collagen induction therapy without it damaging or um, drawing blood to the skin. So it's basically the best length to use. I feel like a lot of people think using longer needles is better. It isn't necessarily better to use longer needles because you're still getting into that collagen layer of your skin. So you are still gonna get those collagen induction therapy benefits. However, if you just go deeper into the skin, you're gonna just get more blood out of it. In my opinion, and from the uh, medical studies, um, that are out there, 0.5 is the best length to use. You can, if you want, go to a doctor's office and they use longer needles, but the efficacy of that hasn't really been shown. There has been no scientific evidence that says longer needles is better. Question number eight, when can I see results? So results is something that everybody asks. They want to know when can I see results? How often can I see it? Blah, blah, blah. Like if I buy it today, will I see results tomorrow? And the magic answer is, Yes, you can see results tomorrow. I can put my word on it that you will be able to see results the next day. What I love about the Banish Kit, and this only happens with the Banish Kit, is when you wake up the next morning, your skin just looks brighter, it looks more glowing, your scars look a little bit more evened out. The color in your skin, like if you have any red marks or brown marks from the acne scars, they will have faded and your skin just has this amazing glow to it. And so many of our influencers have called me or told us that the next day they just experience this really, really amazing glow to their skin. So I can safely say that you will receive results the next day. But in most cases, you can see the scarring start to fade and iron out within two to three months of consistent use. In terms of like the order of how hard it is to achieve, what is it, the pyramid thing? Scarring and flattening the surface of the skin is the hardest thing to change because again, 
we already have damage to the skin and we're trying to repair that. So you have to be using the Banisher and Banish kit consistently to repair the skin over and over and over again. The easiest thing is first to see the glowing of the skin, the brightening of the skin, the luminosity of the skin, and that's just seeing the little tiny little holes that were made and new collagen that was formed in the skin, which will give your skin an overall luminance and radiance to it. And the second thing that's easy to treat is the color. So any kind of red marks or brown marks from the scarring will fade and disappear because of the vitamin C in our Banish oil combined with the Banisher. Now the third and the hardest thing to treat is the actual texture of the skin, which even with laser treatments, even with Botox, even with incision cut puncture therapy, it's still really, really, really hard to get rid of deep, deep, deep acne scars. And I have very deep acne scars along my temples and I've tried everything. I've even tried Botox to get rid of it. Nothing has gotten rid of it. The only thing I feel like has helped is um, just using the banisher on a consistent basis, which it'll smooth it out, flatten it out, and reduce the coloring of the scar. But it's still there because they are very, very deep. I had very deep cystic acne. That was not a fun experience. Nine, how often should I replace the banisher? We recommend replacing it after three to four uses. Why? Because number one, the bristles will tend to get dull the more often you use it. It's not like a lifetime guarantee of it and you wanna make sure they are as sharp as possible because again, when you're putting these tiny little holes in your skin, you wanna make sure that they're not visible to the eye and they're not gonna scar your skin. If the hole is too big or if this bristle is like tapered or like hooked, then it might actually scar your skin. And then second thing is we wanna make sure that this device is very clean. It is so, 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 so important to make sure that this is clean um, before you use it because if it's not, then you can get more acne infections. I mean, think about it. We're putting tiny little holes in the skin. We wanna make sure everything is super, super clean and we're not gonna break out from it, so definitely make sure your banisher is clean. And we've had instances where people do break out from using an older banisher, and all I say is just get a new one, and they've seen their breakouts kind of go away from there. 10, final question of the day. Can I use my banisher over active acne? And we recommend, no, do not use it over active acne. You're just gonna spread the germs everywhere. You're gonna pop the pimples, and then it's gonna go along these needles, and you're gonna spread it all over your face. So no, we say no to active acne, but we have a great product for active acne. We have the pen stamp. And the pen stamp, what you can do is just stamp it around anywhere you have active acne. So for example, if I have a pimple right here, I'll just take the pen stamp and just go around it and you're good to go. So I love the pen stamp. The pen stamp is probably one of my favorite products from the Banish kit, simply because whenever I wanna do a mini Banish treatment, like for example at night I have 10 minutes for my skincare routine, so what I'll do is I'll just take the pen stamp, stamp it along the areas where I do have really deep acne marks, just focus it on those scars, stamp it in real good, and then put the Banish oil, and then I'm good to go. You can get the pen stamp either by itself or in a kit, or you can just get the Banish Starter Kit, which includes both the Banisher Roller and the Banisher Stamp. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I know microneedling can be very intimidating, and you might think, oh my god, this is so weird, this is like a torture device, like why would I use this, blah, blah, blah. But we started selling this in 2013, and in 2013, this concept was just like it was not popular, nobody knew about it, nobody could really sell it, nobody could um, really wanted to use it because they were like, why would I put little needles in my face? That's like a medieval torture device. But I am so confident and so sure that because of our videos and the way we've taught you and the way we've made Banish approachable and microneedling approachable, that you know it is very, very popular now and so, we are the original Banish kit, the original Banish system and the kit and all this was thought of in 2013 by me, a simple girl who had a lot of acne scars and just wanted to get rid of it and was thinking, hey, this is a really great system. Why don't 
more people will know about it, right? And so the proof is in the pudding. It actually works. Thank you all so much for watching. And we're going to have a giveaway in the bottom bar below. So read the description box to see what you can win and how to win your own Banish Starter Kit. Thank you all so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.